Welcome back, everybody. The wonderful world of Luna. Nathan here. And I've decided that, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do it. Where have I heard that before? Just do it. Isn't that like a trademarked name that somehow some company got so nobody can ever say those two words together? I actually don't know, but I think those guys with the swoosh trademarked just do it which I do not for the life of me understand how that can work other than because the United States has stupid copyright laws but this video is not here to complain rant or ramble about copyright laws no it is here to entertain which I suppose I do in part by ranting and rambling about silly things that make absolutely no sense to most of the civilized world uh, myself included in that but, uh, all that aside, I've decided, you know what, let's just, let's just build the little house for the person that keeps the light a burning up in that tower. What is it going to be built out of, you ask? I don't know, honestly. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Whoa, a cow. Oh, he must want a drink. I see. Yes, well, drink away, my friend, drink away. Just watch yourself on the lava there. Okay, so for starters, um, an entry would probably be good. I think in the back corner, actually, will be where the entrance is. And the, uh, I don't know, it'd be cool to recess the house back from the tower. I don't know why, I just... I feel like it would look cool if it was done that way. So what I'm gonna do. You know? And if anybody feels differently, uh, I mean, that's fine. It's, everybody's, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Um, and you know what? Oh, wait, this will work. Where's my shovel? Where's my shovel? Uh, Diamond would be better, but this works too. Let's lower the sand down. This is how I'll get the... the full height. So I have a three... height of three nodes for the house. And, uh... the lookout tower thing here, still surrounded by sand. <gasps> I missed a corner! There we go, that looks better. Alright, and you know what, I think... I think I will put the house further back. So, we'll do something like that, because I guess the house isn't really wide enough. You know, there's... There's a lot of stuff that needs to go into a house. For somebody to live in that's going to keep the the flame burning in the lighthouse he's not really keeping a flame burning it's it's a magical flame that never goes out it has some kind of sorcerer's incantations on it I think or it just is solar powered and charges by the sunlight oh you know what that's all the wrong wood I don't have enough of this wood. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Let me take a quick trip back here. I don't think I do, but maybe I have some of that sitting in the chest. I do. And you know what? Because I'm here anyway. Wait, those are different. Um, I might need some of those. Where's my pines? Where's my pines? Pine, pine, pine. Here we go. Let's chuck the pine stairs and slabs and needles in there. As I will not be needing those. Um, but I'll take another stack of pine because I'm going to use those in the log form. I'm going to get rid of the gravel. Alright, so in log form, I will use these, or I will use the pine wood, rather, 
to make the corner pillars of the house. The stones can all really be removed. I won't be using those. Or do I do the foundation in stone? I could. Well, let's just start with the pillars. Pinewood pillar there for that corner of the home. I guess it's going to go out a note further than I was originally planning on. Just because that's going to be easier. Um, man, this is going to be tricky. Where do these two meet? Uh, what do I have that's an easy thing to place? Sand. Let's do that. Except sand won't... Well, that'll work. Alright. I'll just have to dig out the sand, I guess. So it's gonna fall. That'll fall. I think I should figure it out. Okay, so... Right where I'm standing here is the corner. So... Why can't I place... What's, what, what kind of silliness is this? There we go. Alright, and that should really be there. That way it looks like the wood is buried beneath the water some distance to, you know, get a good footing and everything. And we're going to recreate the slope of the beach, which I think looked something like that-ish. Maybe this was gone. And maybe that was. But now I've got some weird flickering lighting going on here. <clears throat> that should fix itself, though. Okay, so. We have these pillars progressing along for the corners. That's good. That's good. Uh, we'll put the door right in the corner here, actually. Um, I guess, yeah, right here. <clears throat> and, let's see, I have a stair, which is good, and I have that, excellent. So we'll do that, and a st What? Why would it place, there we go, sideways. So now we can get in here, this floor will be made of something, in fact... I'll just go ahead and put the stone in here right now. I'm surprised that the glass floats. But I guess I shouldn't be. In fact, I could just do that. There's no real reason to do it. It accomplishes nothing, but it, it kind of looks cool, maybe? I don't know, whatever. Okay, so we have that. We need a bunch more wood now. I'm going to use up all of my wood. Okay, so... You know what? Forget that. That wood's too precious and valuable. <laughs> I'm a cheapskate. Okay, here we go. They'll have a floor made of pine wood. And the walls will be made of... Normal wood, default wood, however you want to phrase it, the walls will be made of that. But the floor will be pine wood. Because pine is cheap. Cheap in the sense that I have forests of pine surrounding me to every which way, and I don't of the normal trees. Which makes them more valuable. It's called, uh... Supply and demand. That's what it's called. And the more supply there is... It doesn't mean there's less demand, but it's easier to fulfill that demand. And therefore the prices can be lower. Alright, so that's, um... An interesting concept, but I think it works. Like, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't make sense for 
somebody to build their house in such fashion. I mean, you think of the places that literally build their houses on water. And that's what they do. And I've never seen anybody telling them that they can't. Which leads me to believe that I can. Okay, well this is, uh... Probably high enough, I think. Let's see about just getting some walls blocked in quick. The door will go there, of course. So let's do that right away. Mm-hmm, very nice. They have a door now. Beautiful. Uh, walls will continue up. And then come across here. They'll have a giant window on this side. For whatever reason, windows I never place directly up against the corner posts. That's just my building style. That would make for a really sweet window so they can watch the sunset. Look at those beautiful reds. And then to this side, well, there is, is the market and stuff. So I don't really think they'd want to be looking out that window too much. And I somehow managed to put that on the wrong height. But that's okay. They don't want to look that way anyways. Just a small window there. I know. What? Why would they not want to look at their bustling town? I think it's more of a privacy thing. You know, they don't want people just looking in. Now, sure, a ship sailing past can see in this window. And this one. But you know what? This one's going to be smaller. And it's getting really dark in here. Let's light it up. With some torches. Oh. That turns out to be a perfect spot to put torches. And I bet... Oh, come on. Yeah. I... That wasn't even a thought of mine, but... I don't know, that's probably overkill. But that's nice, they could put some little decorative items right in there. A big window here. Which... Do I want to use the X connected? I think I do. I think that'll be the best method here. It works. I'm just wondering if I wouldn't have had better... Yeah. I'm gonna go with the full pane, or the full mode glass variant. Because then you don't get the seams. Not sure why these X connected ones do the seams. It's just kind of silly. Alright, giant window going out to the back. Smaller window on the side. Sorry, torch, you have to go bye bye. Those torches still give enough light though. Small window on the front. Like I said, they don't really want a whole lot from people looking in there. And actually, this window may need to move because. You need a bedroom. And uh, you kind of don't want people watching through the window into your bedroom. Just kind of creepy. All right, well, we'll figure out more of the interior of this room in the next episode. But I think for now, this is going to do it. Uh, I'll put a base. Oh, I can't put a basement in. I could. No, you wouldn't want a basement this close to the beach. Tide would flood it. <laughs> That'd be a horrible idea, actually. I could put the bedroom up on the second story, though. But I don't want to make it too tall, because then it's going to be taller than the lookout tower connected to it. Ah, oh, man. I could make it wrap around back. Oh, well, that's an idea. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you then.